Would I be correct in, in assuming that when you speak of anxiety, you don't think of it as a symptom to be removed, but rather as a gateway for exploration into the, the meaning of life? Yes. Well, you got that exactly right. Now, I think anxiety is associated with creativity. When you're in a situation of anxiety, you can, of course, run away from it. And that's certainly not constructive. Or you can take a few pills to get you over it, or cocaine, or whatever else you may take. You could meditate. Uh, well, you could meditate, but I think none of those things, including meditation, which mm -hmm. I happen to believe in, but none of those paths uh, lead you to creative activity. Mm -hmm. What anxiety means is it's as though the world is knocking at your door, and you need to create, you need to make something, you need to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think anxiety thus is uh, for people who, are, uh, who have found their own heart and their own souls. Uh, for them it is a stimulus toward, toward creativity, toward courage. It's what makes us human beings. Mm -hmm. I suppose much of our anxiety comes from the basic human dilemma of being really? mortal, of yeah, ultimately yeah. having to confront our own demise. Yeah. Yeah. We are conscious of our own selves, our own tasks, uh, and also we know we're going to die. Man is the only creature, men, women, and children sometimes even, are the only creatures who can be aware of their death. Uh, and out of that comes normal anxiety. Mm -hmm. And when I let myself feel that, then I uh, apply myself to new ideas, I write books, I communicate with my fellows, uh, and uh, in other words, the creative interchange of human personality rests upon the fact that we know we're going to die. Uh, of that the animals and the grass and so on knows nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, but our knowledge of our death is what gives us a normal anxiety that says to us, make the most of these, of these years you are alive. And that's what I've tried to do. Mm -hmm. Another source of anxiety that you've described in your writing is, is our very freedom, the, oh, yeah. our ability to make choices yeah, and to have yeah. to confront the consequences of those choices. Yes, that's right. Freedom is the, uh, also the mother of anxiety. If you had no freedom, you'd have no anxiety. That's why the slaves in the films are people without any expression on their faces. Uh, they have no freedom. But those of us who do have are alert, alive. We're aware that what we do matters uh, and uh, that we only have about 70 or 80 or 90 years in which to do it. So why not do it and get joy out of it rather than running away from it? I think that's a little capsule mm -hmm. of the meaning of anxiety. Yeah. But isn't there a little bit of a, a conflict between feeling anxiety and allowing oneself to be open, vulnerable to that feeling of anxiety, and then also seeking joy? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a conflict between that uh, and what's co generally called happiness, uh -huh. or the, the flat, I would speak of, of the meaningless forms of uh, feeling good. I'm not against anybody feeling good or having happy hours, but joy is something different from that. Joy is the zest that you get out of uh, using your talents, your understanding, uh, your, the totality of your being uh, for uh, great aims. The mu musicians, the men who uh, wrote music, Mozart and Beethoven and the rest of them, they always uh, showed considerable anxiety because they were in the process of loving beauty, uh, of uh, feeling joy when they heard a beautiful uh, mm -hmm. uh, combination of notes. Now that's uh, the kind of feeling that goes with uh, creativity. That's why I say the courage to create. Creation does not come out of uh, simply what you're born with. That must be united with your courage, uh, which bo both of which cause anxiety but also great joy.
It seems that uh, much of our modern culture, though, is an attempt to cope with this fundamental anxiety by uh, diversions in uh, yeah. what, what you've called banal pleasures. Yeah, well, you just put your finger on the most significant aspect of modern society. And we try to avoid anxiety by getting rich, by making uh, $100,000 when we're 21 years of age, by becoming millionaires. Now, none of those things uh, lead to the joy, the creativity that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, one can own the world uh, and still be without the inner sense of, of pleasure, of joy, of courage, of creation.